All right, gamers, it's time to play The Last Spell version 1.0. Get out of the way. Ugh. Perfect. So, The Last Spell is a game that has been in early access or pre-release or beta or alpha or incomplete state. Whatever devs are saying these days, it was version 0. Point something for a while, and they've just hit, excuse me, their 1.0 release. I played The Last Spell, I want to say maybe 18 months ago, maybe a year ago. And I found the last spell to be... Alright. I I didn't really engage with the game too much. And I want to I wanna compare my experience playing this game to a different game, Slay the Spire. I know they're different genres and all that good stuff, but... In Slay the Spire, each battle, I feel like there's multiple approaches. It feels like there is this range of bad to great to good or eh, okay but a little bit eh, subpar um and when i played the last spell the version i played had so many zombies that were coming at you so many monsters that it felt like i had to really do a lot of calculation and if i was off a little bit i just got overrun and that was that um and I felt like it was just all... I, I, I was having trouble tapping into the decision-making side of things. Into the very the variety side of things. And I'm trying to recall what my feeling was at the time. And I'm doing, like, a mediocre job, but whatever. The important thing, though, is that many of you said, Oh, yeah, you played on a bad patch. You should play again now that it's hit 1.0. So we're going to do that. We just hit Mythic and Magic the Gathering. So today and tomorrow, I'm going to do some different games. War. For centuries, the world was engulfed in never-ending strife and chaos. Classic. Elves fighting dwarves, dwarves fighting humans, orcs fighting everyone. It was like rock, paper, scissors, where orc beats all. Common folk were bled dry, misery, famine, plague. Secluded in his tower, researching forbidden magic secrets. The Archmage Hieronymus Teller made an extraordinary discovery. Wild, unknown words of power to harness tremendous forces, exclamation mark. A ritual of mass destruction able to obliterate any city in one strike. Hoping to end all wars, he cast a spell on Glintfane, a small enemy village. A gigantic dark ball of purple flames fell from the sky and smashed into the town center. Leaving only ruins, lifeless bodies, and purple fumes. All pixelated, of course. The whole royal family of a neighborhood kingdom was present at that time. Tish. They all died. <laughs> I wonder if I laughed at this the last time I played. That The comedic timing on they all died was A+. Plus. Oh no! Ooh, ooh! The king, mad with grief, ordered the military to research this new magic. The king was so upset, he gave an order for someone else to do the work. He made his mages unleash hell on the closest major city. Wow. Several hundred thousand died. Every kingdom sought the purple magic. I want some of that purple stuff. Alliances were set in motion. The sky was constantly flashing purple bursts. Thundering blasts were heard every hour. War was no more. Only annihilation commencing. There was no turning back. This is, this is, this is like a real. <laughs> Chapter one. Billy was very sad. His family did not love him, and he was hungry all the time. Chapter two. Billy has become a cockroach. He was stepped on. I'm like, all right, can't wait to get to chapter three. At some point, the explosion stopped, a resounding silence. An ominous mist started to aggregate around the remaining cities. A small group of survivors gathered, the surrounding mist was thickening. At night, they had to defend against ghastly monsters. They called them. Clawers. Clawers? Clawers? Clars. This this is a word that like this, this is one of these words that if you are not a native English speaker, you look at this and you say how how exactly is this pronounced? 
and native English speakers go, I don't know. Clars. Claw. Is, did I also pause this way on the first playthrough? Clawers. Clawers. Does it rhyme with drawers? Yeah, claws. Clawers. Clower. I think that you, I think it should be called like reapers. You know, a fighter simply known only as the commander took charge. Fences were rebuilt. Some havens emerged from the chaos. Most mages were hanged or worse in retribution. Some of them, fearing for their lives, tried to find the answer. They found a way. A spell. The last spell. This was a lot of story beats. Now, as someone who watches Korean dramas, this is still nothing compared to what you can catch coming out of South Korea. But it's a lot of plot twists. There was endless war. This guy was alone. He found a spell. He destroyed everyone. A king got mad. Everyone found the spells. Everyone was destroyed. And then there was mist, and then the clawers came in the mist, and the commander was here, but then these people were trying to find an answer, and it's the last spell. They devised complex rituals to cleanse the corrupted runic nexus. The goal was simple, yet nearly impossible. Huzzah! Channel enough energy to break the remaining seals of magic. And banish all magic from this world. Forever! Dude, Kubato, I love Korean dramas. I love them. But when comes the night terrifying mutated creatures appear, they come out of the mist. The survivor's only hope is to fight night after night and protect these mages at, at any cost. Until the last bell is cast! So purple magic destroyed everything, and the mages were like, let's, 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 let's use some magic. Loading. Defend. The last bastion of humanity with your squad of heroes. While the mages try to banish all magic, exterminate fiendish monsters by night, and rebuild your battered city defenses by day. All right, cool. Solid structure, makes sense to me, feels good. Here's the last spell, getting the last spell. Protect the magic circle, night after night, till the mages break the seal. The haven is lost if the magic circle is destroyed or if all heroes are dead. That makes sense. During the deployment phase, position your heroes by placing them just outside of the city. Camera can be wazdied. Direction of incoming hordes is shown in the commander's journal. All right. I assume I can select them, and is it left click move? All right, so holds incoming. Position your heroes, Maeve. Okay. So let's see. Th this guy is a. His mana. Maeve is a rusty hammer, rusty shield. This is bow and bow. This is. Novice's Wand. All right, we're going to get these guys back here. We're going to put this one up here, and I have no idea if any of this shit is correct. Right? Did I do it? Have I ended the phase? I'm also going to see if I can increase the size of the UI. Do this display. Wait, wait. How do I? How do I get this to two hundred percent? All right, whatever. I'm I'm gonna leave this alone because I, I can actually read this pretty well. All right, I'm gonna end this face. For the walls. All right. During night, repel monsters until they're all dead. Move the heroes and use their skills in any order you like. All right. Here's available skills pin on their gear. Skill one, skill two, skill three. Bash, crush, 
stomp. So if I move like this, I have more movement points. Any movement is cancelable until you cast a skill. Alright, so how do I... Ah, there's the undo button. Alright. Brace plus 35 armor. So how do these turkeys work? Okay, this is a claw -er. 23 to 28. Alright. Must be based on your resolution. I assume as much. I assume as much. I was going to move this out of the way. Much, much as I'm obsessed with myself and my brand. There we go. Seems good. Perfect. Can't even tell. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so... So I have a lot of armor, and this costs one... So is this one the amount of cost? So let's see. So I assume this requires two. Oh, I see. So yeah, that that's not a bag. That's the energy symbol. I thought it was at the top of a bag in a full bag. Punch. So let's see here. I'm actually going to select these heroes first. What we're going to do, this is Sword of Damocles. Transfer. Okay, what's the movement on these? They move four per turn. One, two, three, four. So, like, right here is the line, huh? So, I'm going to move both my turkeys forward, because why not? Have this one. Brace. Let's see. Fully restored every turn? Wow. Let me actually, I'm going to turn up the music a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, all right. Intensity. All right, so there's actually a lot of shots. Or there's a lot of, like, things that I can do every turn. It's kind of incredible. Tight volley. I see, so it's this two by three. So let me just add a range. Oh, I see. I'm not looking at the range indicator properly. All right, so let me... Undo your movement. Move you actually over here. Actually over here. Holy shit, I can't I can't hit a single turkey. Alright, I'm I'm just gonna end my turn. We're gonna end the turn. Shall we proceed, Commander? They keep coming, oh my god. Holy shit, that's a lot of guys. Okay. Health man are not fully restored every day. Here is health regen and mana regen are attributes shown next to them. Ah, I see. So this is plus nine, plus five. When it goes under a certain threshold to become wounded, the inflicted negative effects are specific to the unit's type. However, the blood droplet. Okay. So let's see here. So I can do. We can do a tight volley and pick off six. All right, can I? And I can only do one of those turns. There's power shot. Inaccurate. The targets dodge further they are. Okay. So 33 mana. Good lord. Rain of arrows. Yeah, let's make it rain. We're unstoppable. So they're gonna be moving forward four. So I should pull back three. This guy, this is Sword of Damocles, Magic Missiles. What does this do? Skill because multiple times on the target of your choice. All right, I'm not going to do that. Transfer. Gives back a portion of given attribute. Oh. Oh, this is like a support turkey. Nice. All right, you know, Sword of Damocles seems fine. So, I mean, I'm just going to hit whoever is closest. All right, so let's see. How many movement points do you have? You have five total movement points. So I'm going to stay here and, I guess, race again. Oh, I have to target on myself. Whoopsie dipsies. 
Alright, end the turn. Five action points are remaining. I think this is fine. There's so many of them. Select enemies to see their skills, attributes, and where they might move. On the next turn, press left alt to see where all enemies might move. Alright. This is the full band of things. These are all claws. Oh, there's an armored guy. Oh, I see. It's a slightly different model. You can see the armoire. All right, so now I'm going to use my my prime turkey. So this is crush, and it looks like my block only lasts as a final step. So I don't know if you can attack on diagonals. It doesn't look like it. Crush, bash, stomp. Ooh. I'm gonna get right into here. I'm I'm ready to stomp. Oh, that feels good. All right, I'm gonna bash. Oh, is this the dash? Okay, so I'm gonna back up. And then we're gonna do some little arrowing here. So this is like, this is interesting to me because like this game just starts off and is like, you fight hordes, okay, that's it. You are literally a horde fighter. Let's see, we get five mana per day. If I do this, I can actually do multiples of that. All right. Hmm. All right. So, so far, so, you know, linear and vanilla seems reasonable. You have no action points left on your heroes. And your turn. Okay. Sure. I'll retreat back this way. All right, end the turn. Wait, wait, I don't know who had, an, who had one left over. Oh! Yeah, fuck yeah. Wait, what is this? Is this a wall? Any enemy within your haven or damaging its buildings and walls will cause panic. At the end of night, the panic level determines your rewards. So, okay. 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 Who here has played a lot of the last spell? I am quite curious. So, like, right at the start of this game, there's such a giant horde that I feel like what I'm trying to do on each turn is just do a maximum individual damage thing. Good fences by a lot, you mean not at all, pick me. Hell yeah. So these are all stunned, so they can't move next turn. Cool. So let me actually move here. See if I can pick these turkeys. And this is... What is this? Wounded, minus 20% total damage, points decreased by two. Okay, so this guy's kind of weakened. Yeah, so like, like right now, I'm trying to figure out how to explain what's in my brain. I don't mind hordes of things, as long as I can think about them as one thing. So for instance, if uh, we're talking Age of Empires, there's like a pack of knights. I can view that as like, oh, here's a pack of knights. Whether it has eight or 10 or 12, you know, it's, you know, it's kind of like whatever. Um, 
I'm viewing that as one thing. And often in these turn-based games, like Hell, Fallout, Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, XCOM, Marvel's Midnight Suns, there is this evaluation of here are a lot of individuals. And you're thinking about what each individual is doing and therefore what each individual thing you're doing is. And I can feel my brain just just feeling like a little bit like, and, and do I, like, what do I do? Should I think about this as a... Use that RTS size, side of the brain or should I use the individual side of the brain? It's weird because, like, turn-based horde is not actually something that my brain, I think, is used to. Another one bites the dust. Oh, are you out of actions? All right. All right, so... All right, let's get Tylefer. Let me try to match missiles this armored guy. Oh. Now, how much does each missile do? How many magic missiles am I shooting here? Targets one. Oh, multi-hit times four. There it is. One. Two. Three. Three, four. All right. Try shooting this guy. Oops, oops. Yeah, you know what? That's fine. All right, here we go. Ending the turn. Oh, you still have action points. Oh, fuck, yeah. Look at this. It's newbie proof. For your pal, day nine. All right. End the turn. I don't know who had an action point left, but that's all right. I see. It says 14, but there's not like... Because I was viewing it as, as a max of 14, so I guess I'm wrong. So I... I mean, I guess I'm just going to play this pretty linearly since this is like the tutorial. Um, I can do that twice a turn, so let me like step one... I have three more movement points. So I'm going to do this for two actions. And I'm going to fortify self. So I can stay in the thick of the shit. Uh, and tight volley, probably. So all of these are stunned. So it's like these turkeys up here that I need to worry about. So let's see. Where, where are their armored gamers? This is one, two, three, four. All right. We're unstoppable. Very good. Very good. I will say it is it is pretty fun to play a game in which right at the start I get to kill a bunch of shit. That's yeah, pretty fun. That's yeah, pretty gosh darn fun. Uh, so I need to kill the armor turkey first. One. And uh Ollie two will do it. Nice grits. All these are down. Is it this guy that can move there? Okay, so if I move here and I do a good old tight volley here. Actually, I think I want to leave these guys. I think I just target these two. Power shot and go through. I'm going to do something weird. I'm going to do like this to leave all these stun turkeys here. Oh, that's really bad news, isn't it? All right. Pick you off. And team fall back. And I will end the turn. It is fun to have, like, a lot of stuff that you're blowing up that you're hurting. That's pretty fun. 
All right, so stomp. We'll hit these again. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just stomp a bunch of them, like repeatedly for a long time. Witness me. Forefathers, one and all, huh? So four, and then I can do this crush. Oh shit! All right, Yarg. E arguments. So I can magic missile to pick off all of these. But I need to get a lot closer. So I have eight movement points. All right. So let's do ability three. One, two, three, four. One hundred, one hundred. Out of range. Ah, oh, these turkeys. All right. Shoot this one, please. And then I'll pick away at this. And this. I have a little bit of the feeling of like, huh? It feels like there's. Wait, action points? It says I have one, so why can't I do this? Oh, because I'm at the maximum allowable. Got it. All right, I'm doing it. I'm blasting stuff. Return. Okay, I don't know who has the action point, but I don't care. Alright, so let's do a Reign of Arrows. Right. I assume this is the tutorial, so like nothing matters at all. I've not really been using mana efficiently with this guy at all. Nice, very good. Yeah, I'll just I'll just zap him. It feels like range is insane in this tutorial. I'm the best. I'd kill for a... Oh, okay. Oh, we've leveled up. Yeah, I... Like, the whole... The whole defeat a horde and pick them off one at a time is... Or in AoE groups, there's something about... I'm trying to put my finger on what, what makes me feel off-put by this. Because it's like literally doing a lot of satisfying things, right? I'm blowing up huge hordes of things. I'm leveling up. I'm getting money. I'm getting currency. Night one, well, that was easy. See if I can articulate it. Yeah. Okay. I, uh, I. I. I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. What I felt in that combat is it. There's times when I am playing games where I have a set of choices in front of me, and it feels like each choice matters. It feels like there is a trade-off happening between this one and that one. Um, and if I compare some, like, I'm going to use Slay the Spire because it's very simple. I get three actions, and I can now see what my opponent is doing on this turn. I know exactly what their next move is going to be. And so, therefore, if I... If they're going to deal eight damage, do I want to go attack, attack, block? Because then I'll take three, but I'll be closer to winning. But if I go block, block, attack, I'll block the full attack, but then I won't have dealt as much damage. Hmm. Um. And when I was playing, I was just kind of getting this feeling of, like, I'm repeatedly doing a lot of tiny little... I'm gonna shoot this guy, and then I'm gonna shoot this guy, and then I'm gonna shoot that 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 guy. So it felt like a lot of my actions were very upkeepy. 
And obviously, if the numbers and the difficulty and things go up over time, like obviously if they go up in terms of challenge, shooting this one and then shooting that one, that's really gonna matter a lot. Like it would be, I think it would be unbelievably stupid for me to suggest that this game has no true tactical depth to it. Like obviously not. Um, so th there's something that I've, I've talked about with a friend before, which is this idea of like the diffusion problem. The diffusion problem is each choice does a little bit and the idea is that after you've made 20 of these choices, you feel a particular impact. But then each individual choice is so tiny, like the impact is diffused across so many little choices, it's really hard to feel that each individual choice is doing something when I'm first starting out. And so what I'm doing is I'm not saying I've just played this phase one and this is my evaluation of the game. Rather, I had a feeling in this first day that reminded me of the feeling that I had the last time I played the last spell. And people have been asking me to play this game a lot and I've been trying to figure out an articulation and I, I'm still not quite there yet. I'm still not quite there with feeling like I have a satisfying explanation for what's going on in my brain. And I like being able to articulate what's going on in my brain and I don't have it yet. So let's keep battling. During the production phase, you can rebuild the Haven and enhance your heroes. The Commander's Journal. Multiple resources. Gold for building structures. Materials used for defenses. Very happy that they have two different resources for these things. So that way, everyone always builds defenses and everyone always upgrades their structures. You never wind up in a situation where you're going all in on one or the other. Workers used to trigger the active ability of some buildings will replenish every day. Great. All right, so let's level up. Increase primary and secondary attributes of your heroes to reinforce a strength or alleviate a weakness. So, all I'm going to be doing right now is trying trying out different articulations. That's all we're gonna be trying to do is trying out different articulations. I don't even know if I agree with these statements, but I'm gonna give this a try. So many of my decisions felt like Shoot and shoot and shoot and move and shoot and move and shoot. And then the other one is going to shoot and shoot and do an ability and shoot and move. And this other one is going to walk and smash and smash and retreat and block. So now I'm being given the option to level up. So when things pick a primary attribute, like it's, it's challenging for me to... It's challenging for me to evaluate the difference between these things. So I get two re-rolls. I'll go ahead and get more armor. Why not? This UI is fucking unbelievably good, huh? Pick a secondary attribute. Nontox Mercus says, why is the fact that people won't go all in on one thing important? I think, I think I don't understand the question on Toxic Mercury. Which might make sense, because I don't even know if I understand my own explanations, but we'll, we'll give it a shot. Uh, only affects skills and momentum effects. Why not? Critical power. Build your own combination of pass abilities for the specialized playstyle of your heroes. One perk point per level, up to 11. Cool. So, it's a sprint. Allowing to restore move points in exchange for some health. No, I don't think I want that. Plus six mana increased by three for each level. Oh, Nontox Mercury says, you said, I like having two resources. That means that players will um, always build both of the things and won't just go all in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a, there's a common design pattern of... 
I, the designer, have two things I want you to do, and we're gonna use Dota as the example. I want you to, as you're growing, I want you to unlock and improve your abilities. Yeah. And also, I want you to buy items and upgrade those items. That's what I want you to do. And I, I have played around with unlocking abilities, and I've determined that doing that is fun. I have a bunch of cool items. I've determined that buying items is fun. So, kind of like the inversion of the diffusion problem I was talking about earlier, there's a stacking problem that can happen where, suppose there was one currency in Dota, gold. And you could use your gold either to buy items or to unlock abilities. You would run the risk of someone only buying abilities that gave stats, and then they would never have any abilities. Or they could only level up abilities and they would never buy any of these items. Now, immediately there's someone who could come and go, well, Sean, isn't that okay? Don't we want to allow players to do that? Won't they learn that it's bad to go all in on one and not the other? Huh? Few answers to this. First, I don't give a shit if the player can eventually learn after 100 hours. I want them to be having fun all the time. And my goal is for them to be having fun all the time. So, if getting items is fun, unlocking abilities is fun, I want to make sure that both players do the fun shit. I want to make sure that, or not both players, all players do both fun shits. I want them to do the fun shit. And also, as a designer, it's a real fucking pain in the ass if you have to balance the cost of this item against the cost of this ability. And so, paradoxically, by adding a second resource, Let's not have gold, let's have gold for items and introduce this thing called XP for just your abilities. Now, everyone is unlocking items and everyone is unlocking the items and it's easier to think through because you're not having to weigh items against abilities as much. We're not having to balance the numbers easier for the designer, it's easier for everyone. So we added something, we added a new resource, we added a new currency into the game and it makes playing it more fun, easier to understand, easier to balance. So, there, there's this, uh, I, I'm really interested in, specifically in strategy games at this idea of the paradox of complexity where you add more things and it makes the games simpler. So for instance, in this game, this game has tons of resources. There's action points, mana, movement points. There's also number of times you can use an ability per turn. There's experience, and when you level up, you pick a primary and a secondary, and when you have perks, I get to pick one perk, but it's like, it's like really fucking easy to track. It is like, it's like very, very, very easy to track all of this information. I don't know what's good or bad, but in terms of just tracking and getting to do things, it's really nice that perks are unrelated to mana. Do I want to cast spells, or do I want to get a perk that can help me long term? Every two attacks from the hero dodged by this one. Raise the jump over skill. This sounds cool. So I'm gonna train it. That's it. That's my that's my full evaluation. All right, let's level up Sandria. All right, damage. Yeah. We're gonna get some more damage. These are gonna be my damage dealers. Very simple. Sandria is our archer lass. Multiplier applied to the damage dealt to targets with negative alterations. I don't know. I'm gonna get this because it says rare. Confirm, there it is, this is the game. All right. Sprint, harvester, every four enemies killed. Good poison kills, plus one daily mana regen. That seems great. All right, let's upgrade this. Oh, dude, hell yeah, this is my spellcaster. Go for it. 
Why not? Well, I don't, I don't. I generally don't like things like this. I prefer to just. I'm gonna go all in on my mana mans. Execute an enemy in melee range. No. They have badges over the perks that show what school they're for. So, like Major Archer, a lot of times you want to go with the one of that school. That's interesting. That's interesting. Amara 666 says, appreciate you to take time to explain these things and think while you're playing. I'm happy to hear that because sometimes I just feel like such a fucking... I feel so annoying sometimes. Because part of this is that I like talking about designy things, but there's, if you've watched me for a long enough time, you'll know that sometimes when I feel like I can't quite figure out what the fuck I'm trying to say, I spend forever talking about it and not moving. Because for me, it's like when I'm... You're playing against a really hard boss in a game and you keep dying, so you just keep banging your head against it. Like, keep fucking banging my head against this explanation, you know? Fuck! Fuck! Alright, so you... Okay, so let's see. You want me to build more structures? Items available? Choose an item. Um... Reinforced heavy-duty armor. Oh, shit. So this says worn cloth armor. Are these all for spellcasters? So this is a spellcaster thing. Am I understanding this correctly? Can she like maybe not equip some of this stuff? I think I, I think I don't understand. Can any of these people equip any of these things? Offhand one. Okay, so... Alright, so let me let me get let me get Maeve, and I'm just gonna go for the See I really like that this gives more armor and block and Daily regen. Oh, it's slower farts. That thing sucks. Plus one skill range. Yeah, I mean I'll I'll get this. Offhand wand. Or maybe if I do Maeve and look at this. I like hammers. We're gonna get this. This is the game. So then if I go to E and Q does this. If I press C, does this open this up? Alright, great. City stash. Here's our two different weapon sets and can swap freely between them at any time, even during combat. Jesus Christ. Okay, so. I wonder if I can sell it. All right, so I equip this. Let's let's just keep going through the list, build new structures. So, mana well. Permanently increases the max mana for all heroes every production phase. Can restore some mana to heroes during the production phase. Why not? Build my ship. Limit one out of two. All right. Okay. Oh. All right. I feel like this is a lean in moment. Construct structures. There is a temple. Burn increases max health. And then a shop. Grants the ability to buy or sell items during protect production phases. Okay. 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 Buy some new gear. Items have two elements that define their power. Level defines the value. Uh, of the attributes and damage. It is represented by the Roman numeral at the bottom of the icon. The plus X in the name. Can go up to plus five. Sure, sure. So I could get like a sword. And then a sword plus five would be the same as the original one, but the numbers are bigger. Great. Rarity adds random bonuses to the base. Oh, 
Okay, sure, 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 sure. Oh my god, Shadow Cat. Oh, dude, VIP Shadow Cat 91. Hell yeah, Shadow Cat. So good to see you, dudes. Well, I totally thought this would be in subs, but time slash money made me unsub a few months back. It's been happening to a lot of people. There has been a huge amount of unsubbing, not just on my channel, but on like every person I know. Because the economy fucking sucks. So I think it's a great thing to cut first. I think it's a great thing to cut first. I just want to check in and let you know I had my beautiful baby girl, Reyna, at 1.53 p.m. on 3.123. Congratulations, Shadow Cat. I'm thrilled to hear it. Oh, my God. That's great news. That's great news. All right. So, I have 30. Oh, shoot. Plus 7% isolation. I already have enough of that. So I realized that money can be spent on structures or gear. And I, I like that these two different things are both under the sort of gold label because this is helping my dudes. This is helping my dudes. Building these structures helps my dudes build some defenses. The funnel is done. Uh, assign workers to buildings. Where are my workers? It says two of two. Okay. So if I understand the way that this works is that each of my buildings can restore, so I can like do this for free on this guy and this is done. I can do this for free on this guy and this is done. If I want to spend a worker, I can do another action. So what's, the, what's this big guy? Shop. We're going to be able to buy or sell items during the production phase. Okay, so let's scavenge this. Gold focus. Great. House. House. Shit. Increases workers by one? No, dude. So, I assume that this happens the next day. No, I'm wrong. I'm, I'm totally wrong. Let's get these ruins out of here. It immediately upgrades it. Okay. Yeah, so like... What does this upgrade do? Upgrades Benediction. Yo, dude, I'm gonna do this, and I'm just gonna use a shitload of spells. This seems awesome. Alright, cool. Like... The idea of the buildup and the interrelationship of all these resources is super duper duper fucking cool. Like, that seems fun as hell, man. So, it looks like... Hordes are incoming. Alright, so I'm gonna end this phase. I guess I'll put Maeve here. Get these turkeys here and here. All right, end phase. Who has a free ability? All right, end phase. All right. Oh, are we in the? All right, deployment, sure. The seal is hard to reach from this circle. I can't channel it, it's too powerful. They're coming, they're always right on time, oh my god. Is 
So as a question, do I get more visibility? No. All right. Let's do Rain of Arrows. Oh, let's do Tight Volume. Is Rain of Arrows more damage? It sure is. Oh my goodness. Now we're gonna we're gonna tight volley the front turkeys. There it is. Alright, so we're just gonna shoot some stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm just literally gonna kind of chill here for a little bit. Fortify myself. Alright, let's just do this. I don't know. End the turn. Alright, cool. Seven action points remaining. Don't care. Urg, bad mana node. Urg, I can't do this alone. Hold it together. Alright, so now we have a lot of nerds. So if I do this, I can smash through. So I have a few action points left, so I'll do this. Bang. And then I'm actually gonna move into here, and I'm gonna stomp like this. Because this should stun most of these. And then I can pick off this guy here. And then I can this guy, shoot this guy, shoot this guy, shoot this guy. Jump over. It may as well just pick off this guy. You know, I think I'm actually going to end this turn here because I, I don't know... Magic charcoal, it's decaying, it won't hold. What a night, my friends. Oh, I'm gonna I'm about to take so much damage. Alright. Alright, my evaluation of what I'd be able to do is pretty incorrect. We're gonna smash. Booyah. So let's see here. We have transfer, sword of damage, please. I mean I'm just gonna magic missile the crap out of one. Two, three, four. That oh, was 71 to 100. So, Reign of Arrows is a lot. I think this is good. Not 100%, but I think it is. Armor, armoire yourself. Yeah, may as well just hit the one button a few more times. Blow some stuff up. One hero didn't move. My body, oh no, the seal. <laughs> this guy is out of control. Another mage, quick, find another mage. There is still hope left, dot, dot, dot. Surely the other havens will be able to break all the seal. Oh. No, his high face is shrinking. All right, so the tutorial's done. Great, got it. Absolutely gobbled up. There's something about the combat itself that makes me feel a little bit disengaged. I'm having a hard time putting a finger on it. I'm having a hard time putting a finger on it.
right, sure. Rejoice, O earth and sea, for I have come with gifts in hand. Oh my. Fear not, mortal, I wish thee no harm. Dude, this is like perfectly placed for my streaming camera right now. Yes, I am dope. A whisper in the dawn, a promise of light. I think I know you. I was two, but now I am one. A gleam of mere refraction of what I could become. Nowhere and everywhere, we dwell deep down and high above. Come to me whenever thou achievest mighty deeds, and I shall reward thee and thy people. And let us all rejoice, for thou will live again, till thy work here is done. Now go, my prodigal herald of dope, and come again. So, in terms of pacing, I was in combat, and I started off with three heroes, each that had a lot of stats in terms of movement and action points and mana, and then they all had a suite of abilities that could also only be used a little bit at a time. And I could track it. Then I went to the city building. And I could track it. And the city building and using the city elements to restore my things. Shit was fucking fun, man. That was some good stuff. Uh-oh. <sighs> Very good. I could track it. And now I'm being shown these, these blessings. And I'm sure I'll be able to track it. But... Something that I feel like is I'm missing is context. One of the reasons why I liked the city building that I encountered in the game is that I saw that my abilities were using a lot of mana. And then I built some things in the town that restored that mana. And I'm like, hell yeah, I made a decision to solve a problem. Let's go. And I'm seeing a lot of things. And it's like, you can specialize your heroes in different ways. And I'm like, well, the combat was very straightforward. So I don't really know where and why and how I want to specialize. Bring your attention to another haven as I was trying to set up the best way to break the seal. Looks like Gildenberg could do with your help. Unlocks new structures can now be built in your town. Alright, let's go to your attention to another haven. Okay, so this is like my... Okay. Alright. Welcome to the or oh, excuse me, Oraculum. I played Indiana Jones in the Fate of Atlantis, so I was like, welcome to the Oracalcum, Commander. What the fuck? Lower your voice, fool, you'll get us caught. And all will be for naught, you see. What is this place? The Oraculum is what I said. Are you deaf beyond dead? A rather formidable place, if I can say so myself, blooming from the fathoms of your scattered mind. I am the shadows. I am a pineapple upside down cake. I am the pain deep inside your heart. Don't tell the other one, for I, for I will help you. Let it be a little devious secret between me and you. Be so kind as to partake of those useless souls you collected from the slain. In exchange, I will share powers and arcana to help you in your formidable quest. Let's see, unlocks. Oh, I need a click and hold. Jesus. Took a game and says, why did you make the purple space thing sound like it's from 1920s Chicago? Well, I mean, if the game isn't giving me a lot of context, I have to fill it in with whatever I'm impulsively deciding at the time. Oh, I need to click something. All right, nice, we got a little map. Select omens before starting a run to increase the strength of your heroes in Haven. So, so I have talked about this extensively with um, early stages of games. I don't want to know more systems until I feel like I am usefully engaging and getting the relevance of the previous systems. Like, one of those guys, like, th those two nerds, when I when I looked at them, 
they, I actually think they were fine. Like, hey, you unlock the ability to get a house. Great. The other one's like, plus 15 health to your heroes. Great. Those things are fine. Totally don't mind. But I mean, I'm getting a lot of systems without a lot of combat. Context. You know? Each even has a restriction on how many omens you can select. Some omens take more. Um, but have stronger effects. You can change your selected omens between runs to experiment with them. Sure. All right. Sure. Oh, dude, I remember when I first played Last Spell, there were like seven different locations where baddies were coming from. Deployment phase. Position your heroes. Oh, they, they took my shit away. Who do I have? I have, it looks like, Torhe. <laughs> we got Torhe. We got Keon. Meryl. Alright, let's go, Meryl. Down here. Come on, Torhe. Alright, this is the game. Oh shit, is this? Oh no, this is a novice's one. Great. How much move does this turkey have? Nine fucking movement? Holy shit, this guy, this guy runs. Alright, get over here. What did this do? Evasion? More dodge? Oh, sick! That's a different skill. Alright. I guess I'll do this. Out of range. Fucking turkey town. Four forward. Tight volley. See you later, alligator. <laughs> All right, team, fall back. So we have no more actions among any of these things. I'm going to end the turn. Uh, am I going to another tight volley? I certainly think I am. I think mean, using mana feels great. Boy, these are squishy. Yeah, I think, I think, again, this is another attempt to talk about why I'm not feeling as engaged with the combat. I think that because I'm destroying things en masse, I'm not really ever considering what the enemy is doing. I'm not really considering the back and forth. I, I, I'm just like trying to use all my abilities. And that's, that's sort of it. Feels like I'm not really considering my enemies. Let's do a magic missile. Bing, bong, bang, boom. Ah, bing, bong, bang, boom. Nobody says that kind of changes well, later with more unique enemies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine that. I can absolutely imagine that for sure. I'm out. I'm out of stuff. Fortify. See, I get eight movement, so let's move four over here. Shoot the turkey, four movement back. Well, yeah, I'm doing this, man. All right, so let's go here and let's crush. Evasion. 
I'm gonna continue to tie volley these. Can I, can I do this R? Oh, thrilling. Instead of going one, two, three. Oh, I should leap. Oh, how fun. Tight volley, okay. Older guy says, hey, nine over COVID, you mentioned a thought you had about finding happiness slash comfort. And you found yourself finding these feelings and returns to familiar, just indulging yourself in things that you used to enjoy to give a sense of peace. I just want to say that you and your YouTube videos are one of those things for me. You're a legend and thanks. Your power hot video makes me smile every time I watch it. <laughs> I'm I'm happy to hear about the support. And I uh, you know, I I really did kind of bail on the power hot journey when COVID began, but you know, what can you do? I'm gonna do this like twice every turn, man. So that I think is it. I think we're done. One here didn't move. Oh my god, I'm so sick. So let's let's actually like mosey here. And then I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna take a step here, and I mean we are go we are going into the breach right now, man. Did you see that? I rock. Yeah, I mean I'm, I'm literally doing this to just get some spice in my life. All right, let's just start picking off these turkeys. I miss? I don't miss. No. All right. Quickly vault. Oh. Oh shit. Oops. Rewind. All right. I think everyone's done. All right. Let's, let's see. Let's see how much my guy gets harmed. 118, that's pretty bad. 45 armor, though. Armor's a really cool stat. Alright, so I'll just do this again. So when they're injured like this, this means... They only have two movement now, so this guy can only move so far. So we move over to here. I'm going to go one, two, three, four. My magic is weakening. Yeah, my Meiji boy is definitely low on the manas. Any more actions from anyone? Oh, Meryl. I mean, I'll just retreat, then back this way, and then end the turn. I'm still at action points, but that's fine. I'm happy making mistakes. I like making mistakes. Whoops. Undo. Let's see, my my spellcaster is running out of mana. don't have a line of sight. Right, let's crunch through here. Alright, trying to get out of here. Are 
Are we serious? Hit him. Yeah. Hit him again. Uh, retreat. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I think that, like, I have, I have not had a single enemy do something that I considered at any time. And I think that that's, that's maybe the gap that I'm feeling. I feel like I'm doing a lot of button hitting for what is kind of like a trivial fight. It's like a, like a sort of long walk for a short drink of water kind of feeling. And I don't mean to imply that I'm trying to crap on this game, or the game is bad and I'm trying to just stress because you don't believe me. But more it's just like I'm trying to, I'm really struggling to articulate why I'm just not quite engaging with this combat. All right, we're level two. Sure, seems fine. One item. One item. Okay. Yeah, dude. 1118 says you have too many resources to deal with. Too few problems right now. Yeah, like, I have no problems at all. Like, let's, let's work under an assumption. Let's work under the assumption that, like, eventually there's the combat feels very tactical and very considered and very rich. Let's assume that that's there. I have not played this game very much. I, I actually don't even think I'm going to play it that much more. Um, what would be really great is if at the start of the game... It just put me in a fight where I would take some damage and I can make different decisions and there's maybe only two heroes and there's like two abilities and you have to get hurt and this guy, if you don't stun him, like nearly one shots you. So you're like, oh shit, I need to figure that out. I need to figure out what to do. Like for me, a lot of the fun of tactics and strategy games comes from one, the, sh the simulation just like seeing all the things moving like enjoying the big army going and that's fine um turn-based games will struggle with that because obviously it's not really a, a large-scale simulation but also like the sort of puzzly aspect how do i overcome the puzzle there's also like the feelability of my different decisions this curse says you're just too early on I guess. Because here's the thing. I, I, my current mood is I'll give it one more night and if it doesn't grab me on this next night, I will put the game down. That, that's kind of where I'm at. It's kind of where I'm at. And again, it's not that I have just played this. I played for a few hours last year. Let me actually see. What hour am I at in this game? Wait, I'm on hour five. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I want to I want to delineate between difficulty and the feel of things. So like when when games are really difficult and they're very punishing, like an Elden Ring combat system, a Dark Souls combat system. When it's punishing, what it does is it sort of immediately awakens you to the relevance of certain things. And so, for example, if my nerds, or if I have a sword that has a short range and I'm swinging at guys and I have to like get in close and swing, but then he like hits me and it deals damage and I back up. These are punishments. This is difficulty. This is challenge. That specifically lets me feel the effect of certain things in the game. So for instance, if I then get a really long sword and I can suddenly hit that guy from far away, I go, aha. I feel the difference between these two things. I can feel that this outranges that, so I don't have to get in close, but it might have a slower attack rate, and that this short sword has a faster attack rate, but I have to get in close. 
And it doesn't matter what these numbers are unless the game makes them matter. And I was joking with a friend about how sick I am of like, you have this new weapon plus 6% damage. I don't care about plus 6% damage. I don't give a shit. Unless this sword dealt 100 damage, it now deals 106 damage, and the enemies I've been fighting against have 105 life. Because now 6% means suddenly I'm one-shotting these enemies instead of two-shotting these enemies. And that feels really... You can feel the effect. So again, I, I, I want to delineate between difficulty can create a feeling of you feel the relevance of your decisions. But if we go to, I one-shot things instead of two-shotting things, this game could be easy. It could be a not difficult game. But the fact that the upgrade lets you go from one or two shotting to now one shotting, all of a sudden, there you go. Like, oh my God, I feel the difference. So again, difficult games and challenge can help you feel the significance of different decisions to make you feel the good or bad. Um, I lost my train of thought. Yeah, I mean, even like in StarCraft, if you build a flying unit versus building an immortal, you just feel how different they are. Even in a non-interactive way, I'm just like moving it around like, oh, this is so cool, oh my goodness. Because I feel like this game, like, just has, it, it feels like it has skipped over showing me relevant combats and things to be, why I would want to do different things that are just sitting far away and blowing shit up. Because, I mean, that's all I've really done is sit far away and blow stuff up. So I felt like I've not even gotten to do much interesting combat. Again, not saying that there's uninteresting combat in the game. Not trying to make that argument. Just saying I can't feel it. All right, Tainted Essence for a trade. Here's a plus three mana. I'll just get this. Why not? I don't know what the Tome of Secrets is. I, by the way, what I'm doing right now in terms of buying things is just like how I roll. I just I just click on shit early on when I'm in a game. You know, like, why not? Yeah, and for any, any who are worried that I am suggesting the game is bad or suggesting the game doesn't have depth. I want to be really clear, that is not what I'm trying to say. I'm saying that I have all these systems and all these verbs, and I feel like I've not even gotten the chance to see trade-offs, to see the effect, to feel the impact. I want to be able to feel I want to have the ability to feel what any of my stuff is doing. All right, action points, sure. Get it, Meryl. Sure, I'll get this. Sure, I'm gonna get this thing, why not? All right, so this is my short bow. I don't want the health. I'm, I'm gonna get the crit. Oh, nice, cool, these different sorts of stats. Physical damage, so I don't think I have any poison yet. This. I love leveling things up. Leveling things up is sweet. Oh, absolutely action points. Hell yeah. Nine to twenty-five propagation damage.
magic damage. I'm a bland baby. Get the spellcaster thing. All right, I get a knight reward. Cool. Whoa, steel helm. I wonder what the, what's the difference between block and armor. Let's go to the character sheet. City stash. Who don't want to? Who don't want to equip this? An E. Put it on my warrior. Hell yeah. Dude, this is this thing is busto good. It's so nice. Wait a minute. I thought I gave you the. I thought I gave her another skill point, or another action point. Oh, she's a nihilist. Okay. All right. Okay. So great. So I have two workers. Okay. So if I want to. Build the mana well. I'm using the ever living crap out of my thing, so I'm just gonna make sure that I do this a lot. Wait. Okay, oh yeah, I forgot that I need to shop first. Whoops. Ooh, blood crystal? Oh, I'm gonna equip this. Get in there. Okay, so if I go to my character slots, I want to look at Meryl, and I'm going to give her the plus eight daily health regen. Hell yeah. All right, so she's yoked, man. And then, uh, materials. I find this phase really fun. So I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. I feel like I don't need to do, I don't need to do nothing. Nothing for nobody for nothing. Let's prioritize gold. Let's try to let's try to build some houses. Oh, oh, I don't yet have access to that. Oh, this is dirty. Why not? Alright, let's go ham on the mana. Let's go ham on the mana. All right, and production, sure. I got more materials remaining. Why not? You click on the unlock. A runner. Oh, it requires the line of sight. Whoops. All right, so let's have you. Put here and, uh, all right, great. And then that's that. All right, let's go, Meryl. Oh, here's Meryl. Oh, shit. All right. Wait, what? Why does he have... Oh, shit. How do I... How do I swap this? Oh, God. Tab? Oh, I see. All right. All right, I'm just going to end the turn. Sure. Ten action points for me. As a question, do I need line of sight to do this? And then, does tight volley need line of sight? Okay, so let me undo this. Oops. Undo. Undo one more time. So now I'm going to shoot you. 
No, I'm not. Shoot you at all. So if I go here, do I have line of sight? I do. Okay. So then I can start blasting. So cast this. All right, I have no idea how to do that. Okay, so let's go in here and let's start smashing. Go here, kill that. Oh, this guy's alive, whoops. My positioning is I posed myself. All right, whatever. I'm going to end the turn. Yep. Hell yeah. I want to not use any of those. All right, let's go, Meryl. Bam. All right, let me see if I can just get some really good magic missile going. So let's do three. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four again. All right, here we go. Shoot this. Got that one. Shoot this. Alright, boost yourself. Like, there, there, there's a lot of button clicking and what feels like not the most amount of stuff doing. So let's do this. All right, why not? Send the turn. Why not? Missed. Got him. Okay. Wow. Missed. Oops, didn't mean to do that button. Yeah, Solon, we hit Mythic. We super hit Mythic. I'm going to stay right at the front and just be smashing shit. All right, so let's do three. One, two, three, four. Three, one, two, three, four. Bang. Boom. Yeah, no, I, I, I'm just not quite able to engage. Not quite able. I'm having, I'm having quite the struggle. All right, no more actions. Okay. I didn't care. Dude, I love, I love being this. All right. So let me, let me just. Waltz right over to here. And then I want this one. Oh, whoops, 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 whoops. Can I hit this guy? Is this in line of sight? Great. So we have the runners here. So if I cancel and then I go to here, I should be able to get all of them. One, two, nope, nope. Let me hit Z. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, I actually missed that? Oh, that's so funny. So, dude, I'm getting plus 14 mana a turn. I want to be using a lot of mana. Oh, I can just execute, like, as many times as I want. Oh, sick. Oh, that's... This feels great. 
Oh my god, yeah. Er, er, er. Oh, there's a turkey over here. Take out this turkey. Nah, let's not do that. Let's wander over here because I have no, no more actions. <laughs> 14 mana per night, not turn. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Did you see that? It was so fucking sick. Alright. Because at this point, I'm just like sort of spamming my abilities on things. Yeah, I, I did understand that it was per day, but I was treating it like this is one long turn. And then like this. Um. This is such a funny shape. Oh, I'm out of actions. Okay, so then. So if I go all the way over here, I can do another huge stomp. Sure, why not? Damn. And I think that... Oh, dude, Meryl still has actions? Oh, that's sick. Alright. Oh, there's a lot of people here all of a sudden. Dude, never stop smashing. Oh yeah, that'll hurt my turkey, so I gotta... Turkey back. Okay. And then smash through here. Oh yeah, and then I can just execute. Dude, T. Dude, the instant execute is rad. Two, three, four. And he's out of mana. We're out of mana. I think I do need to pick off this guy, like, as soon as possible. Really? Ugh. Yeah. All right, get him, bang, get him, bang. All right. All right. Okay. So who won the splatter contest? Another night survive. XP, 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 XP. Wow, everyone's level three again. I, I guess I'll do. I guess I'll do one more. I guess I'll do one more. I ledge, I suppose. So much essence. All right. Oh my goodness, we have two branches. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. All right. So let's first let's look at our night items, huh? Leather helm. This is huh? Two hands. Let me actually compare this to Kion. It's a higher max damage. Left control, next skill, what does that mean? 
I see. Yeah, so I think I think I'm just gonna maybe get that. Rusty hammer. Plus twenty percent healing received. It's like a defense hammer. Yeah, I'm I'm going I'm gonna get this one. Let's take this bow. Now let's go to our character sheet. We're gonna go ahead and go to Keon. Congratulations. Um, everyone, everyone gets to level up. Thrilling, how exciting. Let's get some tainted essence. All right. Okay, so let's see. I have a thousand and one. of secrets interesting i'm going to maybe be really boring just get mana seems cool okay let me get back we have an n oh i see this this is the indicator of my progress for achieving that okay I can make houses now. That's good. Let's actually, let's look at the gear. We got some pants. Thrilling. Some greaves. We also have a Tome of Secrets. So there, we now have Shadow Bolt. Weakening Touch. Oh, interesting. I mean, I'm going to buy this just to see what other shit happens. What is this ability? Lightning strike? Oh, shit. Wait, what is this? This is fireball? Oh, dude. Oh, yo, dude. I want... I want fireball. All right, so we're going to buy this one. How much money do we have? We have 30... Uh, what's a turtle shell? Turtle charm? What? Oh, fire thrower scroll. Interesting. Ground smash scroll. Interesting. Okay, so let me... Wait, and this is uses per night? Whoa! This is uses per freaking night? So, uh, make sure, let me make sure I understand this. If I have the fire thrower scroll, I'll be able to cast this two times... Spending four mana, and then I'll be done, and then the next day, the next fight, I can do it two more. Or is this, if I use it twice in one night, it's gone forever? It's the first thing. All right. Well, let me see if I can build some houses. Limit four. Boo. Boo. All right. So we've done some upgradery, datery dues. Let's do this. I'm sure I didn't hit the button correctly, huh? All right. All right, well, I guess I'll just upgrade this, because why not? Okay, so we have a little bit more gold. You know I'm going to max out on my workers. Like, you, you and I both know this. Okay. Build some defenses. All right. So let's, let's do some... Uh... Let's 
I'm gonna I'm just gonna do whatever I want here. I'm just gonna upgrade some stuff. Why not? Why not upgrade things? And then I will. All right. So now this guy will probably need more durability in some way. Are there any other durability items? Meryl. All right, so this is less accuracy, more daily health regen. Dude, I'm getting the heavy greaves. All right, Meryl, let's get your pants on. And then we have this tome that's gonna go into our buddy's slot. Great. And everyone needs to level up. Unbelievable. All right. Meryl, Meryl, Meryl. All right, I'll just get some resistance. It's fine. Poison damage? I don't have any poison damage. I have no idea. Critical power. All right. Perks. What does this do? Oh, dude, I'm training this shit. That's great. That seems super sick. Uh, Keon. Why not move more move points, huh? Why not more move points? Daily health regen a lot. That seems cool. Oikes. Lost a mark skill, allowing to debuff the target's dot. Hmm. terms after 100. So I need to buff your max health. I'm just gonna go straight down and just get like all the, the straightforward things. Mana, oh hell, oh hell yeah. Opportunism. All right. Let's do this. No, opportunism. Why not? All right, boikes. Cool. All right, so I'm, I'm just going to kind of linearly go down the thing. Let's end the phase. All right, so I'm just going to hit end. All right, here we go. Yeah, it looks like we've dropped a couple frames, you know. I have internet kindled. More resistance to physical attacks and projectiles. So, all right, so let's let's hop over here. I mean, I should use this as much as I freaking can, huh? All right, so I execute you, T. So let me come out here. Oh, that feels great. Lightning strike. Propagation chains to a random Jason unit up to max bounces. Where's max bounces? Times nine? Oh, 
Oh shit. Alright. So. Alright, I'm ending the turn. Don't even care. Don't even care. Missed. So if I lightning strike this guy. Terrific. Really, really, really cool. Great. Positive. It isn't like a good old chain lightning. Alright, I mean we're 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 crapping on things over here. And then we're gonna come down to this fella. I like the new abilities that I got. That was certainly fun. All right, take a step in, and let's hit the T buttons. T button, hello. Oh, you are not at 10% health? I'll smash you in the head. Oh shit, it's an archer. I guess I'll come over to here. Hit him with some lightning. Let's see what happens. Oh, were they not touching? Ah, oh, give me a break. All right, still, still shooting stuff. Seems good. Oh, I need two action points for these? Ugh. Taking out this turkey. Oh, I went way too far. All right. Well, I messed up, but that's good. I can still do some good smashing here. I don't think I have any more actions on those two, so I'll just shoot from the far here. Oh, that's right, I can vault the wall. Totally forgot about that. I mean, I'm gonna do it, because, you know, I can. It's pretty fun. Mark? Get marked. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so... We have 20 mana left. Wow. That feels great. All right, looks like most of them are actually over here. All right, now team, fall, oh, fall back. Go back, fall back. So let's see if we can do some volley of arrows. I need to kill this guy as well. I'm real a huge fan of just getting a crap ton of mana regeneration at home in the base. Oops. And I'm out. I'm out of juice. All right, let's go to Meryl. Okay, and that's basically it. I'm gonna move over here. This guy's causing some panic. Can't have that. Alright, 
four action points left, so we'll shoot like this. This should go down. Nice little chain here. This is four. Maybe I could have gotten five, but it's fine. I, I literally regenerate so much mana. I'm going to try to hit all these frontward facing ones to try to stun some nerds here, but... Alright, my archer could use some help. It's a little bit awkward, huh? Guess this is the best I can do. Zap this, and then I'll just back away again. My barricades. All right, so there's there's a bad turkey. This is the last spell I'm gonna get to use with this fella. Sorry, I can only hit three. I think that's fine. I'm using up the mana. Aren't you afraid of me? All right. Hoping to stun this guy. Didn't work. I'll do another one in the exact same location. Good. Good. Propagation. Um, minus 30 resistance. Does it deal any damage? It's just a debuff. Actually, I, I think I've been... Misunderstanding. I think I needed to do this a hell of a lot earlier. Yeah, I think that's what I should have been doing far sooner. I mean, who has actions left? Oh, goodness. Jesus. Yeah, please. Please. I insist. One hero didn't move. That's fine. Hell yeah. Alright. I, I really like that weakening touch requires no mana. Try to take out this guy. Getting too close. Ooh. Weaken yourself? You can weaken yourself? That's good. That's sweet. I can feel the game picking up a little bit. I can feel it picking up a little bit. So I need to get to seven days to win this. Train to Astros. Don't think I'm not gonna go straight for mana. Fanberry says everything has friendly fire. Damn. That's beyond belief. Oh yeah, you're believing things. Seeing is believing, etc. Okay, so. Huh. Hmm. One or nine. I like powering. I really like this base building phase. Back, I say. Did I complete anything else? No, nothing. No. All right, get me out of here. All right, continuing on. 
Does Meryl really need more mana? Does she really need more mana? I'm gonna get Amwar. So we're gonna make her march right on in there. Momentum. I'm gonna get momentum, because I don't know. Because I don't even know. One additional perk. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, as long as the hero didn't move during this turn. Mana, baby. Oh, yeah, let me get that knight reward. Oh, shit. Rusty Hammer, too. Yeah, I'm getting this. All right, Keon, Torji. Keon, do I want you to have more mana? Dude, fuck yeah. I always want, I want everyone having as much mana as they can. Uh, daily mana regen, absolutely. Perks. Oh, this is my archer. Oh. I guess I'll do this just because I want to do stuff. I think it seems good. I guess resistance. I'm re-rolling these, because this is my spellcaster. I'm going to keep them back, like, a lot. Alright, uh... Resistance... Damage? Sure. Sure, let's just do some good old damage. Oh, magic damage is something different? Whoops. <laughs> Whoopsie doopsie daisies. It's actually pretty enormous. Okay, what else do we have here? Every two attacks from the hero dodged by at least one unit. I don't understand that sentence. You can parse what it means, but... Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, so... Both have both of those. Great. All right, let's look at what our equipment is. Let's look at what our equipment is. Kettle hat. All right, I'm spending all my gold upgrading. Build new structures. It says it generates some gold. Wonder how much sum is. Okay. Um. Upgrades mine. So I can like do this. Upgrade. More money, baby. How many workers do I have left? Four? Gotta upgrade these houses, though. Workers available are just two. Okay, so there's another thing that I can dig through. Okay, alright. So I think I want to upgrade this. Upgrade. And you. Upgrade. Cool, so now I have seven. So then I want... This is eight to all heroes? Nah, I don't need that shit. All 
right. Max 140, baby. And this is 8 per. Okay. And then, so this and this and this is an upgraded house. There's another house here that I haven't upgraded yet. Il some materials. All right. All right. Well, I guess I'll take this turkey here. Go ahead and select Meryl the turkey. Put Meryl the turkey over here. Let's boss it over here. Use workers to scavenge them. What? I had no idea. Oh my god. I could have gotten the circus of value over here, man. Could have gotten long term buffers. Long term buffer referonis. Alright. Okay. Alright, I'm thinking I'm ready for another another Eve. Alright. Ugh. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So, what do I want over here? Do I want to, Do I even want to build defenses? I mean, the answer is no. Okay, I think that I'm done. This corpse pile is new to 1.0. Hey, what up, Crady? What up, Crady? And phasing, sure. Oh, do I lose 50 materials if I don't spend them? I mean, I'll just I'll just end here. It's fine. Oops. Good job, video game. Dude, yo, like I like I think Meryl's fucking huge. Like 140. Hmm. Mm 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 mm. -mm. Alright, here we go. It's Meryl O'Clock. Alright, that's cute. That's really cool. Okay, so. Alright, so let's let's move our range turkeys over. Oh shit, there's a lot over there. There's a choke coming this way. I'm going to let Meryl try to deal with this stuff. I'll pull my ranged gamers over here. Alright, five. This is okay. Oh, sure. I'll have you buck yourself. That's fine. Range on this guy is ridiculous. All right, I'm just going to turn. Yep, it's fine. Done, so I'm gonna pick off this. I am gonna take a step back, pick off this. Taking a step up, this. Step here, doing this. Good job, Meryl. All right, all right, all right. I mean, she has a lot of mana, so I think I'm gonna be okay just. Lasting. Maybe I do want to weakness these guys first. Maybe that would have been better. Okay, I was like... I see. The resolution step that happens next. I'll just 
shoot these nearby. I'll run far away. So, I think we're going to be fine. It looks like we're going to be fine. I mean, I'm, I'm also playing through the game substantially quicker at this point. Meryl, doing good stuff. I also think I need to focus on getting these guys that are nearby. Missed. Oops. So this is a lot of guys. Guess I'll just do some volleys. This is a higher amount of damage as well. I'm not really worried about mana at this point. Go back here, because I'm not entirely sure where I want that guy to be located. These guys are not really clumped quite enough for a, a good fireball. I guess I'll try to pick away this guy first. Try to get these guys. Did you see that? I'm I'm fucking out of control. I'll see a reason not to use a fireball since I can. I'm just gonna keep them at low HP and then back away again. All right, nothing left. Let me do Rain of Arrows to pick off these new nearby ones. Stop here. Kill this. Vault here. Think to myself, man, I'm fucking cool. Come to here and then do what, like ground slam like this. Walk in more to another ground slam like this. These guys are stunned, so that's good. I don't see really a good place to hit this chain lightning. It's probably the best that I can hope for. I mean, I'll do an arrow volley, like, up here. Okay. Might be better to distribute my damage, because they move more slowly. This is going to be all Meryl, man. Meryl's going to crunch. My barricade that took damage. How do I see what the negative debuffs on Meryl are? Minus two move points. Okay. Start smashing our way through here. So, this.
this entire pod is now stunned. I can pick off this guy. Take one more step in. Do big smashes. And then pick off this. Hmm. So this is probably pretty dangerous. I think these guys are fine to pick off. This is where a magic missile would have been super helpful. Can. Let's see if I can follow the rest of these guys. Oops. Did at, the, at a poor angle. Pull the archer back. So here's a, a good fireball location. Oh, that's right. It doesn't hit at that angle. I was like very confused for a moment. get them low, so then that way I can slow them down a bit. These runners are a bit of a problem. So I should be dealing crackback damage to all these guys as well. Still not a really good lightning target. So if I move to here, I should be able to lightning this hole back. Nope, one more. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to get that far forward. I'm going to rewind everything. So this this looks pretty pretty much dealt with this this fella here. Do some weakening here. Work my way in here. Do another big hull smash like this. Who's next? off this, and I think I need to get a little bit. I don't think I should actually get that much closer. We can pick away these guys from afar. Yeah, and I'm just going to fire his line of sight, sure. Slow everyone's movement down enough to where I can just kind of sit comfortably at a distance. Yeah, I'm just gonna make him dodge. Yeah, I'm do Mer Meryl rules, man. Meryl with 139 armor. Pretty sick. Oh, can I do this? Great. Easy. Um. Let's see, my, my archery darchery fella. Killing the archer is terrific. Oh shit, there's a There's a guy right here. I didn't even see him. Die. Oh, that's that's straight turkey town. Alright. Was that 111 damage? Oh, no, no. No, 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 no. That was... Okay. Okay, I think that was like the remaining health left. All right, let's punch. Fuck, yeah. So it looks like we actually can get a, a, a nice pick on this. If we target this one, this should get a few. Nice. Fireball this. My mage needs so much mana, though. All right, I'll just pick off whoever's closest. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha again. And then let's what? 
Why do you say blood, blood, blood? What's going on? Blood, blood, blood? Why? Why blood, blood, blood? Oh, yeah, yeah. Do these marks. Marking like crazy. Alright. I mean, it looks like we're winning. I really like this bash ability. It seems very good. Oh, you don't, dude, dude. Get them all. Alright. I mean, you know, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Smash! I survived. Dude, I literally get a level a night. Meryl is crunching. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, that was easy. Great. Also, where where is Desperate? Oh, she's in the porthole. Okay. The big hordes coming in. So this is this is probably what I'm gonna do. I can't go all the way till 4:30 today because I uh, realize I have to do my 4 p.m. feed my cat more medicine stuff. And given how much Despy doesn't like it, that's minimum a 15 minute job. <laughs> Let me go ahead and upgrade some stuff really fast. Let me upgrade, unlock, do some things. Okay, okay, okay. 1600 for more mana. Oh, heroes have more armor? That seems good. Go back. Go back. So, we have some levels up that we need to do. There's a lot of things to be done. Big damage boost. All right. I'm going to re-roll. Momentum. I don't know what this is, but I'm getting the shit out of this. <laughs> when the hero moves three or less current move points and attacks in melee range, restore one move point. Oh my god, you have no idea how much I'm excited to get that. Torhe. Torhe, the spellcaster. More mana? Always. Critical power? Nah, I don't want any of this. Critical power? Sure, I'll get I'll get a huge boost. I'll get a huge boost. Poiks. What's this do? Every eight action points spent, the next mana consuming skill gets mana cost divided by two. Sure, why not? Why not? Okay, night reward, show me what I got. More health, more crit. This is health and plus three resistance. Plus 44. I mean, that's kind of a lot. Hmm. 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 I mean, I'm really looking at that 44 armor, you know. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to get it. I'll take this. Conform. Then we're going to go here. Meryl. Meryl, you're the only person we ever want to have wearing equipment. Okay, so let's see here. Torhe. All right, Torhe, my glass cannon. We need to give you more mana and more mana regeneration. 
Okay. So. What do I get from this? Every single one is exactly the same. Okay. 25 gold. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it's really fun to make numbers get big. Like, really, really fun. Uh, let me just briefly look at the gear shop. Do we have anything good here? Okay, we have Shadow Bolt. Weakness, lightning. Percent stun chance. Okay. Armored boots plus two. Dang. Fur pants three. Shit. Is this, is this actually better than the other one? It seems like so slight. I mean, the 5% stun percent... 5% stun percent seems pretty good. Um, super spin scroll. I'll get this, and I'll I'll give that as usual to Meryl. Okay. Three more days. I feel pretty equipped to handle the challenge. All right, do this. Excellent. I'm obsessed with giving this turkey mana. <laughs> what do we have as buildings? Temple? Permanently get max health? Don't even need it. Why not? Can I make can I make more gold mines? Shit, limit three? Fuck yeah, I'm gonna upgrade this. Workers available, so that means that I will focus on gold. All right, nice. We are, we are, we're powering. We're powering up. Upgrade. All I ever want to do is get more currency. That's it. Check out the crossbow in the shop. Oh, that's right. Yeah, what does this do? I have the shortbow plus one. Slow death. Ooh. It's called Blaze. Targets one. Yeah, I think I think I'm gonna keep this this bow. Yeah, so I, I literally have a stupid economy right now, and I'm just, like, literally burning nerds to try to <laughs> power up my stuff. Oh, prowess accomplishment has been done, huh? Grace heroes, the ability to recruit additional heroes or place fallen ones during production phase. Oh. All right. How many more essence do I have? Got 800, 800 essences? Oh, I have to hold it like that? Oh, that's that's funky. Ooh, axes. Axes are cool. Pistols. Oh, pistols are cool. <laughs> Do you like how much of a pro gamer I am? Okay. Alright, I am going to play another day. This is the day that many of you said I would die.
Great. I realize I probably want to... Whoops. All right, maybe I shouldn't have double, double done it, but that's fine. We're going to end the phase. We're going into the fight. It's time. Meryl, you're going to front line it. We need our massive damage dealer and our ranged damage dealer over here. I think, I think Meryl will be able to shit on things. So if I actually go to Meryl's character, her perks are... Whenever the hero has three or less current move points and attacks in melee range, restore a move point, and gets bonus one if someone is killed. Okay, so this, this will allow a lot of mobility. So we want to skew onto this side. All right, let's do it. A lot of turkeys here. I am going to get some water. I'm going to get some water. And we're going to do this, and then I'm going to call it in. Then I'm going to call it in. Let's, let's try to effectively and efficiently win the video game. All right, these are the runners. Okay, so. Take out this. Kind of a small. All amount of impact. Is this a guy here? A deadly mist? Okay. Ah! Let's fight this. I can shoot this guy. Get the hell out of here. All right. Do one of these. Slow him down a little bit. Slow him down a little bit. Slow him down a little bit. Take him out. So we've done everything there is to do over here. I'm going to continue to tuck back this way. This is a bat. Movement speed of two now. Minus three move points. Okay. Like your shirt, Dana. Thanks, Tej. Got this one from Wizards of the Coast. Oh, what is Super Spin Scroll? Oh, right. That's the one that I got before. Let me just hit this bird of the day. Alright, uh, I'm just gonna end the turn. Nice. So here's where a lot of my problems are gonna lie. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, we're gonna try to weaken the chain. Now we're going to try to lightning the chain. Team fireball groups. This is where I need to be a little careful because I think I didn't put a gate here. So this is going to be a real problem. This, this area up here. These guys have, like, resistance to just ranged weapons? My god. So 
So I think that this area is going to be okay. Just managed by Meryl. over to here. That is the wrong character. Where's Meryl? Hey, Meryl. Ooh. So, if I come to here, do a little bashing. We can auto-kill this. Come here, I can do another bash on these six. So if I now am relentless and use this ability, I should get more movement points. Great. So then I can come over to here and deal with this sort of garbage. Really good. Really good. <clears throat> Alright, so I want to most of all get rid of these runners that are super fast. So you have 11 points, so this is this will allow me to return to my previous location. Get all these as best as I can. I'm going to try to have my spellcaster work its way back this way to deal with this side of the horde. I think I can barely get two. And any amount of efficiency is okay. Oh, I'm out. Alright, I'll just tuck myself up here. I think I'm done for the turn. The gameplay is a lot more engaging. Frankly, you just start playing more quickly. So maybe what I should do is I should blast this and then run this way. Probably my best bet. They get all clustered up. Should be okay. So I want to be very careful with this aiming. Line of sight. Why is that? I don't quite understand some of the line of sight rules in this game. I don't know if these guys are line of sight blockers or something. Looks like they are. Yeah, okay. I don't know if that's the case for all the guys, but... more of my guys into position. May as well mark these, I suppose. Yeah, I think I think Meryl... Oops. Whoa, whoa. Meryl still has so many points. So I go here, and then I jump like this. And I run here. Okay. That was probably a completely wasted turn. All right, well, well, dodge yourself, dodge yourself, okay. Yeah. Dude, I'm really glad I double layered this up. I'm like super pleased. All right, so we're gonna just bash our way through here. We can execute this for free. I'm going to put myself in the way. So now I can... Oh, I already used both of those. 
Missed. Oof. Missed. Oof. Oh my god. Let me do this. And I'm, you know, I'm just going to use a scroll. Why not? Yeah, no, this music is a lot, Campion. It is quite a bit. So Keon is out of fucking mana. Oh, shit. That is bad news. That is some very good shit. Hey, I'm gonna try to kill these these guys here. Yeah, I think I think my archer just sucks, man. Action points and the inability to do more does does kind of stinker. All right, we're gonna end the turn. Yeah, I need Meryl to just like hard run left. What in the fuck is this guy doing here? Well, shoot him down. My guy misses. Exclusively. Well, at least my mage knows how to do something good. I'm telling you, not impressed. Walls are are really good. Yes, do that. So these guys, I'll probably have my shitty, shitty, terrible, no good, very bad archer handle it. I feel so smart for building this double wall. Truly, I feel like oh, this. Like an absolute Mr. Smarty Pants. Oh, oh, we can hit here. Thank goodness. Good job. Please, now, please, for the love of fuck. Yes! Oh my god, saved! Alright, so now it's time to walk here, execute. So this will be five action points. So now I have Relentless, so if I have a melee attack that gets a kill, I get more action points, or walking points, that is. Come in here, do another smash. I can do another set of attacks here. I can get into here, and I can use another scroll. Oh my god, Meryl is awesome! Hurt yourself. Hurt yourself, win the game. 
Armor up, turkey. So what, what's this guy's regen? It's 28 per day, 71 plus 30. 101. Yeah, this seems, seems fine. All right, good. Seems good. All right, and then we're going to end the turn. Yeah, I, I, I think that's fine. Oh my god, like, we're actually doing it. Oh, yeah. Line of sight, huh? Alright, so that means that if I lightning this one, it'll hit this whole chain. Superb. So then we can execute this. Walk here, we can execute this. Walk here and just smudge this. Over here, I can smudge. Walk over here, we can do the charge. So now I am going to smack this. Now we have Relentless, so I can hit this. Let's give me a little bit more movement. These guys go down. Yes, are we fucking serious? Oh my god, there's a runner right fucking here, man. Well, isn't that just the damnedest shit? Alright. Oh my god. You know what? Hurt yourself? Come over here. Punch. Oh! I could have reduced the dodge here, but I just didn't think it was going to happen. I didn't think it was going to happen. I thought I could count on this guy. You know, you are you are going to mark. You're going to mark this. Come on. Teach you. All right, here we go. Easy. Easiest of my entire life. All right, there it is. Continue. Oh my god, the city panic is so much. Oh, you're getting less essence. I got an A. It's fine. Cod to Del Do. Where, where's my super thick, super sick gear, man? <sighs> um. Okay, so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna call it here because I was supposed to you know do stuff earlier, but instead of doing that, I just kept doing the video game. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with the main menu action. Yeah, it's some good stuff. So, it's weird. I I like so much of the shell around the combat. And the combat itself feels... What on earth is my damn point? What is my point? Okay. Hey, what up, Michael? Good to see you, dude. Yeah, dude. It's gonna happen soon. I'm gonna see you soon, Tordellini, Tordellini. Dude. Dude. Yo, dude. Okay, so, so the thing is that those combat encounters were more fun later on, certainly. But I found that I just did not... I have to turn this shit down. It's like way, way too intense. Um, I think that the combat feels very untextured. 
I didn't really feel a substantial difference between the enemies. I was just dealing damage to enemies. Now, they were clearly adding variety. There was clearly more things occurring and things changing, but the way that it felt Okay, so so let me let me let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Let me back up. Backing way the hell up. I think that if you said, okay, what's your biggest evaluation of the game? Like, how would you, like, summarize? Leveling up individual heroes and getting them more perks and stats? Great. Items going into those heroes that don't just improve their stats, but unlock different sets of abilities, which makes you kind of want to mix and match. Love this thing. This is awesome. You have a little village you're protecting, and you get to build up the village as time goes on. Great. And I even especially love the variety of resources in the game where if I actually tried to count, there'd probably be something like 12 resources, but it feels very trackable because there's workers. You build houses for the workers and then you spend gold to do things. And then there's operations that can occur around your village that spend workers. And then you have materials that build defenses. And you know, like, like there's just not that, it doesn't feel that complicated, um, even though there's a lot of resources, and I think that's a real achievement. I think that's great. So, we have stuff, right? We have some, some good stuff. The combat itself... <clears throat> Jesus, excuse me. The combat itself... Maybe diffuse? Maybe diffuse is the right word for it. Everything felt very diffused. It feels like I'm just generally trying to deal a bunch of damage to these things. And I'm generally dealing with, at a high level, broadly speaking, some nerds here. I found that I didn't really care as much about... Was there one or two or three or four or five? Like, I didn't really ever... There, there's no moment where I really felt the consideration of that. Outside of a few very small positional things, like... I will throw a fireball and I want to try to do a little T-cross. Is there anyone in T-cross? No? Okay, cool. I guess that's that. And so it felt very flat to me, the combat. It felt like I was trying to just get the min-max in the more or less obvious way. And I also did not feel a deep consideration for what the enemies were doing. There were some smaller things like, oh, the runners are faster. Oh, the flyers fly over here, so I should take care of that one. But I like when the qualities of things, there's a lot of sensitivity to the numbers. So an example might be, and I'll use Slay the Spire because I think it is one of the most tightly numbered games out there. Where in Slay the Spire, the difference between 6 damage and 8 damage and 9 damage and 11 damage and 13 damage and 15 damage all feel really significant. A lot because of the exact values on enemies. So if there's like a 25 health enemy, if I can deal 12 and 12, I still can't take it out. Um, or if I can, you know, bash it and give it vulnerable, that's 9. So now there's like, you know, 16 left. Can I, can I do something for 12 that can get the bonus damage and like break through? It feels like, therefore, this action connected to that action really matters, connected to this particular unit. Um, yeah. So I didn't feel like, for instance, oh, okay, so this ability deals this much damage or this kind of damage. Or I will go up and try to deal... Much damage to all of them as I can, and some of them are stunned. Okay, so that's like a little bit relevant, but like, I I I want to feel like the why where I'm weighing my actions against each other versus which hero versus which hero versus which hero. It 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 felt very kind of irrelevant, and and I I want to delineate the difference between depth of quality. You know, like is is does this game have actual? Tactical depth, do the decisions matter? 
Not even talking about that. I'm going to assume it gets really deep. Um, I'm just talking about... Oh, and, I, I, and it's also not that I felt like it was too easy, for sure. Um... It, it's 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 that it felt very samey. It felt like if I did this or that, it didn't really matter very much. I didn't really detect the difference. Aaron Yearbaum says, perhaps your experience level of these games in general means you're more likely to make the to take choice for granted. As obvious when you're just subconsciously making skilled, informed choices, others might not. Ooh, I like this. I like the fantasy that really it's that my brain is too big. I think more so it's that... Um, I generally was just trying to deal the maximum AoE damage that I could and then just spend the remainder of my action points. And that was about the heuristic that I used. When I see some of you talking about like, hey, this game does have some of those. Like Finn says this game has these type of elemental things. The guys, the flameheads are resistant to two of the damage types, for example. Yeah, like, so for instance... Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make up a turn-based game. I'm not talking about last spell anymore. I'm just saying, imagine that we're in some turn-based tactical game, where there was an ability that said, um, deal a little bit of damage, but stun this enemy for two turns. Then there's another ability that just said, deal a bunch of damage. And then let's imagine that we have. A, s a smaller number of enemies in our tactics game, say six, and I can see the intent of each enemy. Here's what they're going to do on the, on the subsequent turn. So I can see that like this one might be charging up like uh, an incendiary arrow that will fire and explode and deal an area of damage. Then there might be a healer that's going to do an area heal on these things. And then there's some grunt footmen that are gonna walk up and attack whatever they get nearby. Just right away, the fact that these are textured, these are three different units, there's some texture there, and then I have these two basic abilities and there's some texture there. Suddenly, the, this thing together makes you do things like, well, shit, this guy is going to heal, and so I'm going to stun that guy because I don't want them to heal, but I don't have enough damage to pick him off, and I don't want to focus him because I actually need to retreat over here, and then I want to damage to this nearby thing. Um... Or maybe what you want to do is just try to burst down things one at a time. And again, th these are these are qualitative, emotionally feely difference. Oh, for me, says you can also hold alt to see all collective enemy movement. Yeah, we were doing that. We were holding it. And again, it's it's a very diffuse thing. The the horde is going to move forward and just hit stuff nearby. There's not this dude is specifically going to do this sort of ability at this location. That dude is going to do this ability at that location, and therefore. I can start to feel that I can make different decisions in different things. Grace says, I personally felt the decisions only got interesting when the game had scaled up to the point where I could actually lose with the wrong decisions. Early on, I felt sort of like do the damage to anything. It's the right decision. Yeah. And again, I, wa I, I want to be really, really, really clear. I am not suggesting that there is no depth in the future. Definitely not trying to make that claim. And I've even said, hey, let's assume that there's rich depth later on. I'm talking about the emotional feeling of my decisions matter. Not I'm doing things that are right or wrong. A lot of times when people hear my decisions matter, they think about correct versus incorrect. But if you're a new player, you have no ability to understand right versus wrong. You don't know about the strategy. You don't know about any of these things. What you want is obvious difference. Not right, not wrong, not good, not bad, not clarity as to the quality of your choice. You want to just be able to see differences. So again, if I have a, a area ability that does a three by three grid and it stuns these enemies for two turns, or a single target that deals a lot of damage, that feels really textured. It just feels like I'm doing different things. Pretty much everything I did was just like, try to do some AoE damage, and if you don't have a good AoE, do single target damage. And I'm not asserting that these differences aren't there. 
I'm claiming that the way that this game is presented stuff at the start, I'm like, oh, the combat appears very flat at the start. And this is like one of the things that I've talked about with almost any intro, new, tutorialized segment of a game. Where a lot of times games are like, here are 10 systems. And I'm like, I don't know why we want what's good about these. And it's easy to be like, well, actually, these systems turn out to be incredibly important as you get deeper. And I'm like, yeah, I'm sure. But like, you know, who cares about crafting if I've not really done any combat? So I don't really know what, what excites me. So yeah. Yeah, and again, I, I, I want to—I I can't stress this enough. My God, I don't think that making the, the your choices feel really different from each other—that is, in a way, unrelated to players learning if something is good or bad. It's just like, can you feel it? Do you understand what the difference is? And I, I like to use StarCraft when, if you're playing a single-player mission and you're playing on a low difficulty level. You're going to win. It's built so virtually anything you do, you're going to win. But if I chose to build a really sturdy um, robo army that has like immortals and colossi, I feel really powerful but slow. And then if on another mission I choose to make flying units, I feel really fast and like I'm doing hit and runs, but I feel how much weaker I am. And I'm imagining a game where, like, I am just being handed a similar set of units. And it's like, okay, do you want six Immortals and eight Dragoons? Or do you want five Immortals and ten Dragoons? Or perhaps you want to even get seven Immortals and four Dragoons. And I'm just like, these, these feel like slight differences. I'm sure these slight differences matter, but where's the big difference? Oh, well, we have flying units in the game. Oh, great. I'm really glad that this game sort of presented this stuff to me. Um, and I, I think that this, this can happen when you have lots of components in a game. Like, there's lots of zombies there. There's a lot of actions in each turn. And there's a lot of things that each player can do throughout. And it's just kind of like it, it adds up to being very, very tough to, tough to feel. 